Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Welcome to this edition of This is Jersey. We're in Newark this morning at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center, one of the premier entertainment venues in the state, and we're talking with our friend comedian Mike Marino, New Jersey's bad boy, who will be performing here on April 7th for his Make America Italian Again tour. Mike has a very distinct and hilarious brand of comedy which focuses on Italian heritage in his life and New Jersey. We can't wait to hear what kind of new material he has for the upcoming show. So Mike, what's it like being back into New Jersey and also at the NJ Pack on April 7th? <laughs> I can tell you this, being back in New Jersey, coming in from California to be here in February right now, it's absolutely freezing cold, but I love it. This is great weather, it's great air. And to actually be walking around the New Jersey Performing Arts Center, NJ Pack here in Newark, is just this is unbelievable. It's an unbelievable feeling. Now you're going to be performing here on the main stage. How does that make you feel? Oh, yes. And, and what, what should we expect? Well, first of all, it's fantastic to be uh, asked to perform here. And uh, I've been wanting to perform here for a very, very long time. This is a very famous place. And to uh, be on stage here is going to be an ultimate honor for me because I am Jersey born and raised. And, um, you know, I just can't wait to uh, perform for, let's say, what would be the home crowd. And uh, April 7th, we're expecting uh, two full houses. We're going to do two shows, a 7 o'clock and a 9.30. And uh, the people can expect a lot of new material. And uh, I'm going to hit them hard with some of the funniest stuff I got going on in my life now you were, in my career. Now, you were born just up the Jersey Turnpike uh, in that Jersey City. Yeah. Uh, how is Newark different? And how is New Jersey different, now, even throughout the world? How is it all different when you perform? Well, you know, it is different. Um, I guess it's like a football team playing an away game and then they play the home game. And when you're playing at the home game, it's just, there's just something about it. That's the home team. Everybody's cheering for you. So, you know, it's kind of just like that. I've been performing all around the world, but there's just something about coming home to your home state and letting the people of New Jersey have my experience from touring the world, bringing it right back to where I started. I was born in the Marion section of Jersey City which is about maybe five minutes from here. And, and in a way, I would say Newark, uh, Jersey City, Bayonne, Hoboken, kind of one of the same. A lot of the same type people, blue collar people, people who uh, work really hard for their money. And uh, I work really hard for my comedy, and that's where I get the comedy from. The blue collar, all American people, and of course the Italian people. And that's why I named my tour in 2018, Make America Italian Again. And why does America need to be Italian? Well, I don't know if it needs to be Italian. It needs to be like us, let's say. Us people from New Jersey. And I'm gonna throw my name in that hat and say, the Italian us people. That's the way we talk, that's the way we act. We're friendly, loving, caring people. We just sound like, you know, let's get to the point. You either like me or you don't. You're coming to the show or you're not. Buy a ticket, tickets are on sale now. Come and see me, Mike Marino, make Italian, make America Italian again. I got a whole new slogan. You don't know nothing, you don't say nothing, you don't see nothing. So Mike, you're out in Nebraska, Arkansas, Utah, and you're talking Jersey. What do people think of you out there? Well, you know, it's almost a little bit more special for them. You know, they get to see a, uh, a homespun guy from New Jersey in their area acting and being the way we are on, let's say, what they see on television. And uh, it's, it's special. I mean, I've been entertaining all around the world. I love meeting people from, let's say, India or Japan or Korea, and they try to impersonate me, which is trying to impersonate any personality that you might see around New Jersey. And it's funny, and they like it. And there's just something special about, let's say, us people from Jersey. We have to take a break now. We come back. I want to talk about your time involved with The Tonight Show and other things you've done. We'll do that when we come back. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to This Is Jersey. We're at the NJ Pack in Newark this morning talking with Italian comedian Mike Marino about his upcoming show in the venue's Victoria Theater on April 7th. He's telling us about his comedy and sharing the stage with attorney John Bramnick and why everyone should know about what it's like to live in New Jersey. 
So Mike, besides stand-up comedy, you were on The Tonight Show for a long time. Tell me about that experience. Yeah, well, in, in the comedy world, I wanted to go on The Tonight Show to do stand-up. It didn't happen that way. I actually went on the show as a sketch comedian. So I was doing a lot of sketch comedy. I started doing so many, I just said, you know what, might as well just be on the show like this. So it was kind of like, uh, let's say, Saturday Night Live whenever I went on the show. And I was doing skits with Jay and all the celebrities that he had on the show. Did it for almost 10 years. It was a lot of fun. And then my first actual stand-up appearance ever as a stand-up comedian was on the Martin Short Show. He actually had a show back in that time. And so here I am on The Tonight Show on a Monday, The Martin Short Show on a Friday, uh, just doing totally two different things, which was fantastic. Now, I guess as a comedian, you try to find work in a variety of different ways, including movies. I understand you're in one as well. Yeah, well, I never set out to be a comedian. I always wanted to be an actor since I'm a little kid. And stand-up was just something I kind of fell into when I was actually in like my late 20s, because a lot of people were telling me, you know, you people from New Jersey, you're funny, the way you act, the way you talk, the way you speak. And I had blonde hair and blue eyes, and I didn't look Italian, so I made it into a routine. But my roots are in acting. I always wanted to do theater. So yes, recently I had a movie come out called uh, Criticized, which is a thriller. And you can go to criticizethemovie.com, and I actually play the co-starring role of a detective looking for a murderer, which is, it's really great, it's a good movie. Now you also have a web series to run? The web series, I got two web shows, uh, Marino 2016, which was a goof on me and my friends running for president, which we're gonna continue doing now, of course it's gonna be Marino 2020, and I'm still running for president. And the series that I do, which is on uh, a radio channel, ddvradio.com, it's called Live From My Mother's Basement, which is just about me talking about life in the real basement that I grew up in, in New Jersey. But you have to really be Italian to understand a lot of the shtick, no? You know, I don't think you have to be Italian. You just have to be fed up with what's going on in the world to tune into the show and watch and have some fun and have some laughs. Now, you recently performed at the Paramount Theater in Asbury Park. What right. was that like for you to be back? You were there, what, 10 years earlier? Yeah, I did a bunch of shows at the Paramount Theater, which is in Asbury Park, New Jersey. It's another legendary theater just like this one and that theater's been around for a long time, and it's an honor to play there. I mean, they had the Marx Brothers play there back in the 20s, and then they had Frank Sinatra and, and big, big names, and of course, Bruce Springsteen. So it was an honor to uh, perform there, and this past summer, yeah, we sold out two shows, rip-roaring crowd, everybody was having a lot of fun, and that's what we expect to do here at the NJ Pack. So on April 7th, you'll be working here with John Bramnick. I guess you're sharing the bill with him. What's it like working with an assemblyman who's also a lawyer, who's considered one of the funniest lawyers in Jersey? Well, hey, listen, you know, I'm labeled as New Jersey's bad boy. Supposedly, I'm the bad boy on one side of the law. So when I started hanging around with John Bramnick and he's telling me about he's New Jersey's funniest lawyer, I went and I saw his work and I said, this is a perfect fit. He's got comedy from one angle and I got comedy for the other angle. Maybe my comedy is gonna need him to get me out of trouble and it's gonna be a fantastic show because we got comedy for everybody and anybody from teenagers to people in their 70s, 80s and beyond. Mike, that's great. When we come back, we're gonna have John Bramnick on the show to talk about what he's gonna be talking about on April 7th. We'll do that when we come back. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to This Is Jersey. We're at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center in Newark this morning talking with New Jersey's funniest lawyer, John Bramnick, about his upcoming show with Mike Marino here at the Victoria Theater on April 7th. Okay, so your tagline is the funniest lawyer in New Jersey. How'd you get that title? 1996, I won the funniest lawyer in New Jersey contest at Rascals. I won it in 97, 98, and then they stopped the contest, so I'm the um, 20, 25 years, funny as, I'm like Muhammad Ali, a lawyer comedy in New Jersey. Now give us, what was your stick back then? What made you the funniest lawyer? Uh, probably, any of the, jokes? the funny, what made me the funniest? The other nine lawyers. <laughs> that bad, huh? <laughs> yeah, pretty bad. See, they have, lawyers think with the problems with the audience, right? So, no, I did, I did things about commercials. I actually did one on Christy Whitman, which I hope no one ever sees. Uh -huh. Now we're in the Victoria Theater. You've performed here before. You're performing with Mike Marino. What's it like for you to perform in such a great venue? Well, it's, NJ Pack's fabulous. I mean, this is the heart of culture in New Jersey. And Mike Marino is, I cry when I watch him. He's so funny. I watched him in Coney Island last week. He's hilarious. He's also from Scotch Plains. 
so we have that connection my law office and scotch Pines. he's just a beautiful comedian he's jersey he's funny he's a national star now i saw you several years ago at the stress factory and you had already been a comic for many years how did you get started into comedy being a lawyer and a legislator my 38th birthday my wife gave me the present to compete in the funniest lawyer in new york contest i went through three or four rounds and i came in second so that was the beginning of my career probably should have come in first but it's new york they don't like new jersey that much and then of course I uh, won the New Jersey's Funniest Lawyer, and that launched my incredible 25-year career, which I've never made one dime. <laughs> now, you performed at the Stress Factory, as I mentioned, I saw you there. What is your stick mostly of? It's pretty observational comedy. It's things that I see, uh, things I see as a legislator, things I see in Trenton. So it's more in the realm of a Seinfeld um, or someone like George Carlin, just observation. Meets stuff. Jersey, right? Usually signs, usually oh, people. Oh, sure. to, come on, give us sure. some of your stuff. Yeah, well, I, 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 sometimes I start off and I say, you know, I was down in Trenton all day working on lowering your taxes. Uh, how do you think that go in? You know, <laughs> or I have an opening line where I got some good news and I got some bad news. The bad news is you actually paid money to see a lawyer tell jokes. The good news is I'm not getting paid either. <laughs> you also reference a lot of signs in New Jersey. Tell me about some of those that are well, funny. Well, I try to observe these signs because, you know, part of my job is to make sure your life is better. So you have like this pound 77. And I actually pressed it to see what you got, you know, to report aggressive driving. And here's what I got. You have reached the New Jersey aggressive driving hotline, Jim McGreevy, governor. <laughs> so I talk about that and things like... Uh, speed check by helicopter i've been driving 40 years never been pulled over by a helicopter i did see a ufo in metuchen one night that's about the closest i've been to being pulled over by a helicopter so with all this and the number of years that you've been doing this have you ever been criticized by any of your colleagues in the legislature <laughs> i've been criticized but never for doing comedy i think that would be a probably a tough um, way for them to criticize me um, occasionally I'll get something from a constituent and say, you know, why are you doing comedy at the NJ Pack? Why aren't you down lower my taxes? But that's, but generally people like comedy and other legislators, I think probably find it interesting and they got other stuff to criticize me other than comedy. So with all that you've done, it's all for charity. Tell me some of the organizations you've helped over the years. Um, I started way back with the AIDS Benefit Committee when AIDS, um, was in its worst period of time. Uh, I've done the Plainfield Symphony, the New Jersey Symphony. I've done a, a, a number of uh, the Link Community School. I've done things for Earl Monroe when uh, he was raising money for World Trade Center victims. Uh, it just goes on and on and on. It just, it's a little niche that I found in terms of doing auctions for charity. Uh, Boy Scouts of America, Boys and Girls Clubs. Uh, and you've worked with Joe Piscopo as well, another famous New I Jersey. I love Joe Piscopo. He has a big heart. He's a great guy. He's just, a, just, just fun to be with, too. What are some other ways that people can give back, as you are doing in our communities here in New Jersey? I think just be nice to your neighbor. You know, it's a little things. You don't have to give money to the Red Cross to be a good person, even though I like the Red Cross. You can just help your neighbor. And how about being nice to your neighbor? Here's another thing. Just say something nice to somebody. Because you can change their day by saying just a, a pleasant, you know, compliment. You know, compliments never hurt. You can stop, you know, it's really good to be with you today. You know, I'm happy that you're my neighbor. Little stuff like that changes everyone's karma. I would say that's as important or more important than donating money. Okay, so now how are you going to prepare for the show with Mike Marino? Well, since Mike's the bad boy of comedy, I'll have to spend hours and hours prepping him so he doesn't get himself in trouble. I'll be like the lawyer that he needs because he's like the bad boy of comedy. So prepping for him is probably reading all the criminal law books and seeing what he violated, what he's going to be charged with, uh, when he's going to be indicted. Just a bad guy. Now you're going to write some new stuff? I have written some new stuff actually. Okay. And um, I've done a lot on uh, the thing. I'm going to announce that night that I'll run for governor. You are? Well, we want to keep it secret. And what I'm going to do is say, tell everybody all my bad stuff because I want to get it out now, not three years from now. So then when the media finds out all my bad stuff, it, it won't mean anything because I've tapped it down already. Great. Well, that's April 7th, NJ Pack. There's two shows, but it's 7th and 9th, 30th, Yeah, think? I'll try to stay awake. And we hope one. everyone uh, comes out and enjoys this. NJ Pack, Mike Marino, John Bramnick, be sure to join us. We'll be back right after this.